Hey, this is Kenneth with, you guessed it, yet another clock. This clock is unique and it is quite possibly the most normal clock that I've built as of yet. As you can see here in the top right, I'm driving a four digit liquid crystal display in 24 hour mode. Uh, this is a raw liquid crystal display, which is unique compared to most normal displays you'll see in projects because it doesn't have any kind of controller on the back of it. This means that all it does is it brings out 40 individual pins, one for the back plane and then one pin for each individual segment. 28 pin, uh, pins for the, all of the four digits and then several more pins for such auxiliary segments such as the colon and then decimal places throughout the digits. Now, liquid crystal displays are very challenging to drive because they are voltage controlled devices that tend to saturate. This means that if you were to take the ground, the back plane at one voltage and to bias one of the segments against that in one direction, over the, over the order of one to two seconds, it'll actually saturate and fade back out to white. This means that to hold a dark segment dark continuously, you actually have to alternate the back plane and the back plane to the uh, pins that you want to have darkened. This is handled using the Maxim ICM7211, which is a four digit LCD driver. It unfortunately has no provisions for auxiliary segments, so I had to use a 7000 MOSFET and a 5 mega ohm resistor to create a basic inverter to run the colon. Now, MSP430G2231 uh, standard launch pad development chip that came with my kit. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have enough pins to drive the 8 pin interface to the LCD driver and the two time set buttons at the same time. To resolve this, I used three pins to come over here to a uh, 74HC595 standard latchable shift register, which then drives the LCD via that. Now, 7211 is, is a CMOS part. The shift register is a CMOS part. MSP430s are CMOS parts. Now, this means that the, as, as long as I care carefully programmed it, this was an extremely low power device which is why I'm able to actually drive it off of nothing more than a CR2032 coin cell. The total draw for this entire project is 12 microamps. That means the expected battery life for this entire clock is about two and a half years from your standard coin cell battery. Now this is also unique in that it is actually all permanently soldered together on a board. This is primarily a function of how much wiring there was. was. On the back you'll notice that uh, I didn't actually have, on the front, I didn't have quite enough wire to get from the far end of the, of the driver to the far end of the liquid crystal display. And so, on the back I ran several lines there. Although, in general, it's a pretty standard perf board soldering job. So, I, hope, I thought you would enjoy that. If you have any questions, make sure to either comment on YouTube or go to my blog.